What's up guys, it's Ballhawk32 and I'm going to do a quick little video on this new app called Bob's Dream which is that thing right there, if you can see it and in Bob's Dream it's uh, like an adventure game really really a lot like um, Super Mario Brothers too much like Super Mario Brothers a little bit it's big time copycat but the it's actually really fun it's 99 cents in the app store I got it because I was looking for something as like something I can find that's cheap and has good like replay value and this definitely has that all the controls are front back and he runs pretty fast you jump you can run and jump to jump higher and also he shoots little candies by pressing the circle button there if you press menu you can also go and use accelerometer to walk which I find is a lot harder but it is kind of cool. See left, right, and if you flick it, he jumps. Push forward, he jumps. Which is really cool if you get bored of not using the accelerometer. But if you're trying to beat some hard levels, I suggest that you do not have the accelerometer on. So the goal is to collect the coins and defeat those shell type characters. See how that is? That's just exactly the same as Super Mario Brothers. Almost too much alike. When you get those purple things, you get up there, that's the stuff you can shoot by pressing the circle button. And it shoots out, like, gumballs or whatever. This all takes place in his dream, which is, like, the main point of the game. Like, he has a dream, and this is what happens in the dream, and blah, blah, blah. But you just got to defeat the shell guys, collect as many coins as you can, try to get a high score. Um, if you have big thumbs, sometimes the controls get in your way. But it's a lot better than playing in portrait. But you can also play in portrait mode, although I do find this to be a little more hard, a little bit harder. So I like to play in landscape more. There is also bees. You can fight bees. And what I also realized just now is that if you press over the button, he still does the same thing. So you don't exactly have to type press those things, although I find it better if you do. Jump over them. And the key is to get to the door and go to the next level. This is the map of where you have been if you want to replay missions. So, so far I only got two done. But that doesn't matter anyways because for some reason there is no saving feature on this game whatsoever. Hopefully in the next update they have, if they have one soon, they will implement a saving feature. Auto save or something. But without auto save, this game is super repetitive. You find yourself, when you die, you play the same levels. And it starts to get... It starts to get you annoyed. I mean, I don't want to be playing the same levels again if I have to die. I want to be able to go back to the level that I was just at and try to beat the game. All right. Uh, those creatures right there, which I tried jumping on, you cannot jump on them. They have spikes on their head. So what you have to do, you have to shoot them with the circle button. And then they die. I mean, the levels do get harder as you go on. I only got to level 4 without dying because... By the time you get to level 4, the bees start to gang up on people, and there's more stuff to die. But sometimes you can just run right through the level. See how you just run, jump, take the hits, who cares? Just keep running, jump on that guy, keep running, hit that, jump, and I died, but sometimes you can just run through the levels. <laughs> um, see, start a new game, you get to start all over again. They show a picture of him sleeping, and this is basically where the game takes place in Bob's stream. As you can see, I died, and I had to start at the first level once again. Other than how there's no saving feature for 99 cents, I think this game is really fun, and I have not seen any Super Mario Brothers games on the App Store, so this is a really nice alternative, except for the fact that you cannot save. Um, out of 10, I give this game, I don't know, like a 6 because you cannot save but it is fun I like it I'll give it a little more try see how far I can get in the game without dying but it's fun 99 cents isn't bad and another great deal you can get for 99 cents from now until February 1st all Pangea software games and apps are 99 cents that's right guys 99 cents for a Chrome Magnum Rally which is that there 99 cents for Bug Bugdom 2, Nanosaur 2, Pangea VR is free, and 
um, all those cool games and apps, they are 99 cents. And Gmo, and Gmo, I think I said that right, that's 99 cents too. Head on over there, check it out. As you can see, I have a North Carolina Tar Heels theme on right now. I like it a lot. It switches backgrounds like that. And the lock screen is pretty sweet. Tar Heels, 34 time champion. I like North Carolina a lot. Don't live there, but it's pretty sweet. Thanks for watching, guys. Rate, comment, subscribe. Hit me up on my page or whatever. I'll come out with a lot more videos. Just keep up some support. Thanks. Bye.